swagger on. I got my swagger right. Check the check the swagger on. I got my swagger right. All right, check the swagger on. I swagger on. I drip drop swag on them. Light blue Bentley, the dark blue brag on them. Get so big that the tavern nearly sag on them. Ice so clear, haters think he got glass on them. Nah, them bitches don't pass on them. They just push their titties up and throw their ass on them. They like the craft on them. They know we big time hustler. Philly, nobody got swagger like silly. Uh, yeah, this is me, 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 both there was, was no, no singer. Oh, singer. Right. <laughs> they were just both friends. And it sound it sounded like something to say. I'm you know beavis, you butthead, nigga. Today's million dollars worth of game is brought to you by BoydsFuneralServices.com. Listen, man, affordable service, man. You want to go out right? They'll make sure you go out the right way. Boys Funeral Service serving all religions, all ethnic backgrounds, everything. Listen, they will get you out of here in a proper manner when it's time for you to get out of here. Because nobody really would to get out of here, but you gotta get out of here one day. Even if you don't want to get out of here, you're getting out of here. And that's the reality of getting out of here. You want to get out of here in style. And boysfuneralservices.com, you know, they're going to get you out of here in style. They're going to respect you. I'm talking about they got a great funeral director in Asia. She's going to make sure everything is right. She's going to, you know, I'm telling you, your people's going to feel do good. Do they provide the person to sing for you too? Or do the church do that? I really don't know. You know, I didn't ask her that. I don't, I don't know about that because it depends. Everybody don't need nobody to sing. They, but I'm saying they say Asia provide everything. She might even provide the nigga. How do I say goodbye to what we had? The good times. No, no, you gotta hit your note. Listen, even at a funeral, you gotta just listen. Even at a funeral, you gotta display your talent. You gotta mark. No, no, you gotta listen. You gotta market your talent. Even at a funeral, you gotta market your talent. So listen, everybody, listen. You're looking for a great funeral director in Asia. You're looking for a great listen, man. The prices is affordable. They're affordable. So because I'm just can't. We understand from motherfuckers dying every day. Listen, but they're affordable. She's gonna work with you. She's going so, to work so, with you. So nobody wants to die, but Listen, if you do die. Nobody wants to die, but you Asia. You better go get with Asia. You better boys, go, right? go, go get with Asia. She's going to look out for you. Okay. Call Asia at 856-963-1515. 856-963-1515. Check her out. She's she's servicing the Philadelphia, the, the New Jersey area. Check her out, man. I'm telling she you, She might man. even get a couple of them, them coffins up there to New York, too. Listen, she can make it happen, man. Hmm. She makes it happen. Chester. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'm talking about all over here. You know what I mean? It's this whole area, Northeastern. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, motherfuckers dying everywhere. Yeah, all that shit. Asia, get it to you. What's the name of it again? Boyd's Funeral Services dot com eight five six nine six three fifteen fifteen. If you want to go out and stab. if you want to go to heaven in a Rolls Royce coffin, that's decent. <laughs> That, that, now, you know, I never thought about it. People could design this stuff. <laughs> these, the, the rappers these days, them niggas going to be going to heaven in a Rolls Royce coffin. Some people might cut a whole Rolls Royce hey, out. Hey, motherfucking emblem come up on a nigga's coffin. <laughs> That's hot. Motherfucker told me he went out and stopped. Yeah, man, he killed him, man. He was shocked. He killed him. That nigga, no, man. he had the emblem come up on his little, coffin. Little doo doo, man. What? Little doo doo went out in style. You know what I'm saying? You ever yeah. see when they put like dead bodies on like a motorcycle to, and shit oh, like that? Yeah, I've seen that. That shit weird. <laughs> I don't fuck with that. Like, why do you do the nigga on the all stuff? <laughs> He's stiff. He got his glasses on. Yeah, like <laughs> right in the he crib. Down the highway. Nigga hit one bump, glasses on. Looking off. for adventure. <laughs> You like he ready to motorcycle and take off? Hey, boy, and then, to and then be you, you got people that just stand in the joint and take a picture with him. Yeah, like how do you take a, on. How I take a picture with like my dead cousin that's like sitting on the motorcycle? Keep it all the way real. I don't want none of that shit when I go. Don't have me all day. You taking pictures with me? I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna put you. Crazy. We might have you in the booth. Like yo, a, a lay down yo, booth. Yo, hey, yo, the booth. They like don't you even gotta, yo, they don't even gotta lay you down there. You be standing there, and, like, and people just walk past the booth. I mean, at the funeral, they just walk past the booth. Damn, Gilly did do some real stuff. Yeah, hey. and they could pose your hands and everything. Hey. Like yeah, he hands. Hey. And you hey. just have a booth. He just hey. walked by, I'm like all, a studio. I'm all in the booth, froze, and motherfuckers <laughs> fucking with me. Oh, head, I need some game. Oh, yeah. Can I get some game? 
and, the, and, and listen, on the recorder, you just had a game. You, you just had a game playing on the speakers. And if, when you walk in the joint, yeah. A, Yo. Bro was in my DM. She going to ask me. Wow. You just hearing it all through the You through can the just walk up, the get, up, get a game up. Listen, bro asked me, man. She got in my DM and said, Gilly, why my boyfriend really ain't my boyfriend, but I think he my boyfriend, but he said he ain't my boyfriend, but he my boyfriend. You know who you are? You a GB. <laughs> What's that, Gilly? A goofy bitch. <laughs> They're like, oh, why are they playing in the funeral? You know what I mean? Whole time I'm right there dead and shit. <laughs> he did. But you hear it all playing. I'm just saying that's some deep stuff. That's deep. Uh, one more time, man. If you need it, if you if, if a family member of yours pass. Listen, man, boys, funeralservices.com. Listen, man. Check them out, man. And listen, I'm talking about you check them out. They're gonna take care of you. 856 963 1515 Okay, Agents let's get into beast. this, right? Listen, right. Wallow did 20 years in prison, right? He came home from jail. I was like, cuz, you know what you need? He was like, what? I said a massage. Oh, cause. man. Oh, he, he, won't, he, he won't let me let this we down. We pulled up the Cherry Hill. Pull up the hand in stone. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason. I heard about these Jones in jail. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, that's hand my, and stone. They was talking about hand and stone in jail. They was talking about the massage joint. I'm gonna give you the prop. I'm gonna nah, give you the understanding nah. of it. People told me about this in the yard about these Jones. So go ahead. Now, yo, stop digging in your nose. Bro. <laughs> that's all he did. Like, no, 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 yo, bro. Man, like, yo, yo. It's just a boogie, Gil. Uh, <laughs> yo, all right. nigga digging his nose all like, fucking day, all fucking, man. Like, bro, on, yo, bro, bro like, that's, that's some nasty shit. Yo, like. Bro, you nasty, bro, for real. Listen, for real. listen, right? He thought hand and stone. Was a uh, hand the bone. Listen, listen. He thought he was gonna hand the bone. Listen, I, remember, over to the I, remember, bitch I remember. my young boy told me in the yard. Him. Him. My young boy he told me. He thought it was going. He thought it was going to be a freak fest. He thought I took him to the wishy washy. I'm like, damn. Listen, cause listen, I'm in the yard. So my young boy come to jail. He like, yo, man, I used to go to the the hookup spots. I said, the hookup spots. I'm talking about what you talking about? Oh, I used to go to these massage joints. You go get massaging, and they break you off. I said, break you off. I said, like, what they do? The whole thing. I said, what? So now, when I get out of jail, I'm like, damn, okay, bet. Cuz on point. So as soon as he said, yeah, I'm going to take you to the massage. You're going to get you hooked up. I don't know nothing about no names. What names is name, brand, what name. He said the massage joint. So when I go into joint, he, we go to his women all in there. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is the joint. This is where you go down. I brought a hat with me and they didn't bring a Jimmy hat. I'm like, damn. Hold on. It was, you know how clean it looks in there and everything, <laughs> but bro. What you're do you, know? you don't know. You don't know. I'm like, listen, I said, I come through. He told me, yeah, we going to the joint. So I come over. I make sure I had a hat on me and everything. I mean, matter of fact, I brought like two because I'm like, I'm going overdrive in this joint. So we go in the joint, right? Everybody nice. She's like, come on with me. I'm like, oh, she nice too. Don't come on, me. man. So, so as soon as she said, come on with me, I'm saying the search thing that came on my mind. Don't threaten me with a good time. I heard about this. I heard about you in the joint, right? So I slide up, I slide up in there, right? Go up in there. La di da di da di da. She's like, oh, yeah, just take everything off. Take your. She said, remove your stuff and just lay it on the sheet. I'll be back. I'm like, wow. So listen, <laughs> she leave. I'm talking about before she leave. It was just like I had a rip away suit on. I got anything off. I was in a raw. So now I was in there trying to prep your piece. For no, show. I had to prep. I had to prep. He was prepped down. So listen. So 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 listen. I get in the joint right. I get. I, 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 listen. So, so the whole so, time. Hold up, man. So we, hold on. So you said your piece was like Bill prep. <laughs> he was already prepped down. And plus, you be watching the pornos, so you be watching some of the massage pornos too. No, listen. I know, <laughs> all I remember what the young boy told me. He said, "Man, you go in that joint. They go right down, man. This then the third. So I so I go in the joint. I'm like, damn, why is she leaving? I thought we just. But I said, damn, she might go go put. I said she gonna go put something on because he told me they be having like nice lingerie and stuff on. So I'm like, bet. I'm like, she ready to go change. <laughs> so I lay, I'm like, dad, this is going to be a while. So I'm looking. They got the water running in there, like little dee -dee -dee, like theme stuff, like you, in, like you in the nature. I'm like, damn, we ready to be one with the earth. <laughs> so I'm like, damn. This, I'm like, it's ready to go down. So I lay down. I'm, I'm all, I, I lay, you know what I mean? I lay on my piece because I ain't want to just have it. She coming in, surprise. Because <laughs> he said, just lay down. So I lay down. <laughs> She told me she come back in, right? I ain't want to look up because I'm like, she's going to surprise me at the right moment. So, you know, you got your head in the joint. I'm like, mm. damn, okay. She told me something. How you feel? I said, I feel good. <laughs> I said, I'm feeling even better in a minute, right? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I really don't. So, she rubbing me down. She told me something. Just tell me when you want more. I'm like, whenever you're ready. <laughs> this is what I'm saying to myself. I don't know. I really don't know that, this, you know what I mean? So, I'm like, whenever you're ready, you know, just like, she said, okay. So, I'm like, damn. And I'm like, yeah. A young boy put me on game in jail. I'm like, damn, he schooled me, man. I'm glad I'm I'm a, I'm a right back to the joint. Right at, right the homie back in the pen. Like, yo, man, these joints popping out here, man. I went to the joint. So the whole time going, I'm going. She rubbing me down and all this. Now I'm getting a little impatient. I'm talking with some like, yeah, take it to the I'm like, I told her, I said, take it to the next level. <laughs> Go ahead, do what you do. 
<laughs> you talking about okay? You want some more? I said, yeah, go ahead, dude. I'm ready. I'm like, so I'm like, I'm thinking I'm supposed to hit, give her a hint. So, so when she turned me around, I turned back around, right? I'm like, why does she still have her whole little get up on? Like, why are you not butt naked? But I'm thinking when I turn around, she's like, okay, you can turn around. Now. I'm like, damn, it's going to be like, I'm ready. So she turned me around, right? No boy, I'm going to be straight up with you. She turned me around. I'm like this. <laughs> she, about to, she about to no, call the law. No, this is what she say. This is what she say. I see you're a little excited. I see I've been excited. I've been, I, I've been ready, right? She tell me, oh, Cassie, okay. She said, all right. She said, so listen. She said, just calm down. She started rubbing my chest up here. She said, calm down a little bit. Said, I'm like, for what? I'm just like, so she keep hooking me up and everything. So before I know it, I'm like, damn, the whole thing is over. <laughs> So I come out the joint. Right? I do my stuff. About, listen, I come up looking I, confused. I come up out the joint. Did they take care of you? I'm yeah, listen, like, yeah, which fucking I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm like so now I'm like, I got a massage. I'm like, he petty. He must ain't give him the whole thing. He ain't give it like, yeah. give him the whole. Thing. So, I'm like, partial so I'm like, I'm like, how much is yours cost and how much I, mine's cost? He said they cost the same thing. She said, he says like, what type of joint did you get? He said, man, I I got the extra the the extra rough joint, deep some, tissue. the deep tissue. I said, well, why you ain't tell me to get that joint? The whole time, I don't know that he didn't get hooked up. I'm thinking like, why are you going to send me in there and don't give me the instructions? I just that 30 times I said, wow, deep tissue ain't for anybody. I'm telling you, it's for me. <laughs> it's for me. How are you going to tell me what's not for me? I just did all this time in jail. So when we get back, we are going back and forth. Gina like, wow, you you got to really be aching in your body to get a deep. I am. I just did all that time. So then I realized, Gina like, well, what did you think they was going to expect? This that third. I don't want to say nothing to Gina because I'm like, damn, Gil just got hooked up <laughs> at the party joint. I mean, I'm not going. I'm not going to tell him because that's telling. Him. I'm like, yeah, you know, you're right, Gina. I'm just brushing. And then we get outside. I'm like, damn, no, you get hooked up. I ain't even get hooked up. I'm all in there hard. He's like, about you was hard. <laughs> what the? F I said, yo, this is a. He said, no, this is a commercial joint. Why they for that? I said, well, why are you taking? I'm saying to myself. Who treats a, who treats somebody to a regular massage straight you out the joint? You thought she was going to the dirty. No, he grindy. thought he was going to the Dominican pub. Yeah. I'm like, listen, the, the Asian, the Asian listen, joint, listen, the wishy was. Listen, I'm thinking like, so I don't listen. I'm like, I go through this whole procedure. He thought he, he was going to Wiz Gam special, the listen, Dominican pub up the northeast. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, I'm saying to my joint, I'm saying to myself like, damn, he real petty. Like this boy petty man. Like I, I really thought I was on game, man. He really on nut time, so you know. It was just super disappointing. I huh? was disappointed because I'm thinking like, and then once I realized, damn, them Jones is not, and then I start seeing them all over Philly, or, uh, hands and stone. I'm like, oh man, I, I didn't know nothing about. How I know that they didn't have that type of stuff the, when I went to jail. Nut ass nigga thought he was at the wishy washy man. I thought it was Let party me ask time. Y'all question. <laughs> Crazy man. Both of you niggas got women. If your woman only had one good sexual trait, which would you want it to be? Good pussy or good head? Oh, the box. Puss. The box Puss. any day. <laughs> yeah, definitely. The box any day. Yeah. The box any day. Yeah. I'm cool. Yeah, box. Oh, definitely. 100%. Y'all taking the box over the, over the head? What? No Are you kidding me? question. Are you kidding me? No question about it, You man. niggas is amateurs. She, listen, <laughs> no, 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 she no. can learn how to... You can, if she don't know how to have that, she can always learn no, how to it, get it. You, you niggas is amateurs. Man, you tripping. Let me tell you something. First of all, let's keep it real. Is no feeling on planet Earth. Like a sloppy toppy? Hold on. That the vagina could ever give you. Like when a motherfucker suck to come out your dick and keep going. Nigga. Nah, to keep going is like, that's the, that's the like chalkboard. No, like, no, you're not a man yet, Dev. Yeah, no, I can't. Listen, that you're not active, a man. Listen. <laughs> that activate the goddamn... See, women love that part. You know why women yeah, love that part? They love they the, got total they love control. The, hey, they got total control and they know, shut up. Shut Listen, up. Shut I ain't up. never had no, I ain't never in my life had no pussy that had me go like that. I don't know what planet he's from. No, mm. I never, no. He never had no good shots. No, I, I banged out before, but it's, <laughs> it, yeah, I felt good. Ah, no, that head. No, because yep, he was spilling. No, you remember he had a time no, where he was just spilling. Get, listen, when they give you that good scoliosis, that <laughs> sloppy toppy, that nectarine, and that motherfucker come right to the top of it. <laughs> You give them that shotgun blast to the head, poof, <laughs> and they keep going, ah, and you got to wrestle a bitch off when, your when, dick. When they, when they keep going, that's when I get, I stop, I don't want it. Uh, right. Oh so you telling me, you, you telling oh me, it's some pussy, so you telling me it's some pussy that had you like that? 
No, pussy ain't never had me Let like me that. Pussy you, get, it's a good feeling to fuck you. Ah, I'll break you down. But it never had me like. <laughs> you ever got some like <laughs> average head in the joint, like kind of want to stop so you like pretend it's better so that they can keep going? Like you just be real extra with it. And they, no. <laughs> just, to get, just to keep no, them enthused. No. You just can't lie to them. You got to no. tell them. Did oh, you ever have that. a bitch motherfucking scrape the wood like a chipmunk? Yeah, no, that's. Oh, the, my now, good. Yeah, because I had some before that Goodness. looked like the visual was outstanding, but it was actually painful. You know what I'm saying? They <laughs> like, was going, they was going like, crazy. It's like, it's like, bitch, open your mouth up, bitch. <laughs> fuck is you doing? The fuck are you sucking nigga dick like that? Uh, bitch, you're pulling the skin off this hammer, bitch. You're it's ripping tender. The, it's already tender. Bitch, you're ripping the leather off the sneak, bitch. <laughs> the next day, you be hurting, boy. Fuck your jaw be all numb. You yo, 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 yo. The fuck is you doing, bitch? It be damaged. <laughs> nigga putting Neosporin on his dick, bitch. You, you, you done... <laughs> you know, it definitely happens. Bitch, you done took the Velcro off. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> oh, no, that's nothing. when that's when you gotta tell them it's too good that you gotta stop. Like, no, nah, no, nah, you, got, you gotta no, stop. It's see, too much. See, you I gotta was, stop. Even as a young boy, I was never a nigga to lie. So, wait, <laughs> hold on, bitch. Open your mouth. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> the fuck are you doing? What? What happened? Damn, bitch! You just thumbtacked the dick with your teeth. Fuck, like, goddamn, bitch. Listen, and I give a bitch instructions since back in the day. When I was young, before 2 dk I I'd lay it law down on the bitch. Hold on, bitch. What is you doing? Motherfucking whole lot of slob, no teeth, and plenty head motion, bitch. You hear me? And, and you better gag if you ain't trying to throw up off this dick. No, listen. <laughs> See, you know what? It ain't. Uh, listen, if, if, if the chick don't try to throw up, if she don't try to choke herself to death at least five, six, seven times while she on the dick, just... <laughs> You know what that is? That's ain't, a, you ain't, you that's ain't got a, no good head. That's, that's a that's an ego play for Gil because he coming up short. So he no. want to. So if a chick trying no. to gag, that means he t he feels as though I'm bigger than what I am. No, I'm really big. No, to, to make me feel see, like I'm big. See, you know gag. what it is? Gag. He ain't get no good dick sucks. Gag. He ain't get no good dick see, sucks. See, when you hold, he they gag. It. They listen. gag immediately when no, you hold. As soon as they try to put that joint, a <laughs> quarter of that joint, and they gag. I don't had. I listen. never had them problem. Listen. He ain't getting no good dick sucks. No, what it is, he's he coming no good up dick short. Suck since he been home. <laughs> he coming up short, dude. That's what it is. Damn. He don't know what a good dick suck is. He got you know 550 or 10 hey, hours. He's he called 10. He let coming up short. Let me tell you something. If all this ain't wet, you ain't got no good dick. You, let me tell you something. April don't even spit on you, bitch. <laughs> Listen, man. I'm going to say this. Spit master. Toot through that shit from across the room. <laughs> like a lizard. <laughs> Come get that motherfucker. <laughs> Back up, spit on it. <laughs> Pull Yo. up to the dick. <laughs> you can see, I am trying to tell you, cuz if all this ain't wet, listen, two, hey, listen. I don't have no problems in that department. One thing for sure, two things for certain. Me and two don't have sex without putting a towel down. It's impossible. Is it, oh, I'm putting it down with the oh, catch oh, towel. Oh, oh, we gonna be, no, I'm no, putting it no, down no. with the catch no, towel. The catch he towel is for you. No, no, you got to have a towel down, period. You catching towels to catch your own fucking semen. That's nasty. <laughs> no, you got to be sure. Fuck is wrong with you? got a hard-ass towel. You done caught semen with it a thousand no, you times. That motherfucker crinkly as shit. Shit, shit like Lou with a foil. You, you got to <laughs> You watch the catch towel, Dev. <laughs> That's crazy. Dev, you watch the catch towel. How you watch the catch towel in jail? Yeah, yeah. Nigga no, you got, got a wash aluminum it. foil you towel. You take it to the shower. What's wrong with you? Shit crunchy as a motherfucker. <laughs> they got a hundred nuts on it. That. That's crazy. A nigga walking into the shower. You showering with a bunch of niggas. And you, this nigga's walking <laughs> walk in with, walk a, with, a, with a crunchy a, towel. Yeah, no, with a crunchy. completely semen-filled no, towel. Yeah, 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 That's disgusting. He walking with a towel fresh out the Captain Crunch box. The towel is nice. You keep washing it. You Fuck keep it preserved. You. Yo, that's that's You got to keep your towel preserved. <laughs> Yo, that's disgusting. Dev, get, Dev got to catch towels. Okay, a couple weeks ago, I had my B-Day party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, I meant to talk about this last week, but I fucked up. But I want to bring this up this week. Give it to me. During my B-Day party where I invited 60... Five seventy of my followers. I like to, you know, turn up with my followers, show them some love back for the love that they give me. You know what I'm saying? And give us every week, making us the number one music podcast in the country. But that's some other shit. Number one. Um, yeah. During the midst of us partying with our followers, Wallow picked the girl up in the air <laughs> and lost his mind in the party. I was reliving, reliving my second childhood. You know, we used to be strippers, so it's something that we done back in the day. Mm -hmm. Like that was, that was just like. 
you know, back in the day, you know, uh, we done that. And what we posted on Instagram, social media lost their mind. How could he do that with his woman in the building? Oh, some people was on this side of the fence. Some people was on this side of the fence. Some, uh, most motherfuckers was like, he's a legend. Oh, that was legendary. Y'all know how to have a good time. And then it was a lot of women like, oh, if my man would have did that, I would have been too mad. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't have he been able to come home that night. Mm -hmm. Let me ask y'all a question. When did dancing and having a good time become cheating? When I do, whenever no, 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 I do no, no, it, no, no. If <laughs> dancing, if, dancing say, but think about if this. I do that shit, that's but what. Think it about is. this. Think about it. If dancing is the new cheating, that means cheating is the new murder. It got to be. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, what, my nigga? No, but I'm just saying. What he's saying is, when did cheating become? When did dancing become the new cheating? Right. That's what you said. But how it jumped from cheating become murder? It's mad shit in between that as far as you talk about like bad shit to do like murder. Murder <laughs> my nigga. Hey, like, that that was one of the joints where the crickets just come on. <laughs> like what you talking about, no, it's my deep. nigga? It's deep. It's deeper than the surface. You don't understand it yet. See, I'm listen, talking I'm uh, talking about I'm talking about being trapped in the look, matrix. Niggas, niggas seen You're you, not trapped in the listen, matrix. Niggas seen you niggas seen you throwing a joint up, you got your face all, you know what I mean? Yeah, shorts on. Inner crop, like regardless. I have my face on the side like this. Okay, but from what it looked like, you know what I'm saying? Go so ahead. I'm, you know, I'm 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 looking at the joint, I'm showing my girl the party because my girl had like a family event to go to. Oh, she was invited, one hundred percent invited. So bitch my, ass nigga <laughs> will look at the camera. <laughs> she was invited. Hold on, listen, listen, she hold was on. invited. Hold on, listen, so so you know, I show her the joint or whatever like that, and it's two videos. It's one of you like throwing a joint up, then there's another one. You got two joints on you. You kind of like going back and forth between the joint. You know what I mean? My girl looked at me like, "Listen, nigga." But, my, but the one when I'm dancing with both of the girls, first of all, my girl was recording that. That's, I know that's from her camera. Mm -hmm. She was recording that. She had Legend. a good time. She Legend. had a good. She don't. She she had she had a good time. She didn't. She didn't. She wasn't like so. It was like if it's okay with her, what do you like? What do it matter to you? Because you know why? Because at the end of the day, if a nigga picked two up and threw her on the shoulders at the party, go ahead and get that 1979 Chevy warmed up for mm -hmm. me. Yeah, sound cool. I'm a dicker down when we get home, mm -hmm. nigga. That sound cool. Fuck is wrong with you? I don't give a fuck about a nigga picking two up. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no one believes you. You need more people, nigga. No one, no one believes you. See, what <laughs> niggas do sometimes <laughs> is they say they cool with certain stuff, right? Because they know that it's not going to happen. It's like when it's, nigga, it's, like, it's like when a nigga be like, yo, Lo, that joint that you fuck with, is it cool if I fuck it? <laughs> like, and then you tell me, yeah, because you think I can't hit it. Then when you, yeah, see, yeah, then yeah. When you see me hitting it, you at the crib. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, like that. <laughs> That Just was my nigga, girl. That was my personal. I she was my nigga. She was personal. You ain't right. You slimy. If you hit my chick, you would kill me. You a slime ball. Word up. And then that, that's when the caption come up. Dudes really ain't real these days. They act like they're your brodies, but they'll kill you in real life. <laughs> Yep. The subs hey, come on. Yeah. You start throwing subs Gil, on Instagram. Gil just know Tootie ain't letting nobody throw her in the air, so he something. get to play it off and say, me, "Yeah, yeah, let it's me, cool." Let me tell you something. Uh, uh, let me tell you something. I'm a nigga like this, right? A lot of these women out here, they feel these type of ways because they insecure. You feel me? A lot of women, they feel like they nigga ain't even supposed to look at another bitch. You feel what I'm saying? That's Man, not reality, though. That, that ain't reality. And right? like God gave you motherfucking eyes. Look, you think I don't know that Tootie would be out. Some of the niggas that walk up on Tootie and try to talk to her, she probably thinks some of them niggas look good. Yes. Yeah. Probably. Do some of them niggas look better than me? Probably. Do I give a fuck? Fuck no. Because I ain't insecure. I, if, if motherfuckers didn't want Tootie, I, why the fuck would I want her? <laughs> <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So if you want a broad that don't nobody want, go get you a motherfucking bitch fresh off Monkey Mountain. Some niggas do that too, right? And then don't nobody talk to your bitch except for another monkey. You feel what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I don't give a fuck. If two would have been dancing with a nigga in there, I don't give a fuck. Now if a nigga grab the ass, <laughs> scoop the titties up, I'ma sock the shit out of him from behind. What the fuck is you doing, nigga? But at the end of the day, we I thought we you. I, hold on, hold on. I thought you wasn't supposed to check the the pimp. You supposed to check the, the no. Check. But, like, like, but, hold on. But see, I know my woman. So if a nigga would have grabbed the ass, it would have been immediate reaction. Like, oh, what right. the fuck is you doing? Okay. I'm just holding these two words. We'd have moved out. So, so at the end of the day, there's a lot of women out here who be expecting too much from a nigga. 
But some women like it. And I'm going to keep it all the way real. There's a lot of niggas out here that's whole ass niggas who don't know how to stand the fuck up for themselves. And it's the flip side to that. Yes. The flip side Maybe. of that, some people, my woman was with me. Like, I, I did it with my woman there. Like, my right. woman was there. Some people, oh, I can't believe that. Oh, no, you can't believe it. And you don't know, it's going on, but it's just that it's not going on with you. He's with his homies doing it. Right. Because he, he can't, he don't feel comfortable around you. Y'all can't go kick you. Y'all can't go out and kick you with you, you, with you and your man. You, he don't even like going nowhere with you. Right. Like, and, and some of y'all is really a secret. So y'all talking about that? It never happened. No, you're a secret. Nobody even know y'all exist together. Right. Mm. And then a lot of times, a lot of times, when 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 a, when a when a man go to the uh, out with his woman, it got to be all about her. Everything got to be about you. I got to make sure you're cool. Do you need another drink? Did, 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 did. No. I was in a party. I'm over here dancing with my followers. Gina over here yep. doing whatever the fuck she want to do. Gina and April, they doing them. They drinking. They having a good time. Do y'all. We, me and Gil entertaining, we, we, entertaining the followers. We, not, we don't live in that insecurity world. We, we entertaining the world. Because at the end of the day, um, we just don't go to random clubs and do that. If we was just in a random club, he would have never picked a bitch up. That was we're, our that was our place. This, we're at one of our events. Makes sense. Our followers are there. First to, of all, I don't even go. To, Gil, tell you, I don't even go out. Right. You don't even go to clubs. That was the first time since I've been home that I ever went out. Right. And 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 I reconnected with when me and Gil was stripping in the club, and I thought I was I, I did, flashback. Ah, because that's what I used to do when I was in the club. I just had my clothes on this time. When I used to be a stripper, <laughs> it used to be like I just had clothes on. So I'm like, oh man, we in the club. You see, Gil, he jumped right in because he understood what was going on. We connected with yesterday. We reliving our second childhood. That's hey, all. Sometimes. Hey, so. So at the end of the day, for 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 a lot of people, a lot of people, they, they overthink shit. No, what it is is a lot of people now have a platform where they can sit in they sit in their misery, and they can just be on a with they with their thumbs, mm -hmm. and they yeah. got an opinion now. But opinions is cool, but at the same time, what position have you ever been? Have you ever lived in a situation like this? Have you ever been what's name? Is you is you done with the hurt from yesterday? The people that hurted you and destroyed you, right. to, to, to destroyed your self esteem or whatever. And had you feeling some type of ways? You passed that yet? When you talked about the thumbs, I think that's a big deal too. The thumb game is, is crazy because no, what happens is on social media, like you pop up on there and you lifting the chick up and you dancing, just dancing. What happens is your girl, a lot of people, girl, they they girlfriends, ten of them, is all atting her on the video of you doing oh, this, and they start and they start being a thing where they feel like you made them look stupid or whatever because people like, you know he fucking that bitch. You know he, you got a whole motherfucking hair salon told him out, you know he fucked her. And Get I went, home, and like I went home with my woman. Right. My dick is on the shelf. Get your dick up off the like, shelf. Like literally. <laughs> hey, man. So I'm talking about, and I ain't talking about on the jump, but like, this, it belonged to her. Yeah. So at the same time, it's like, but you know, like, a lot of us don't understand that we only got one life. You got one time at this joint, like, and you're living your life based on all these rules and regulations that you didn't, you didn't, you didn't right. put on yourself. The world put on you, right? Like these rules ain't got nothing to do with you, and you don't even feel God. You just like, oh, they said I got to do this, and this is how it's supposed to be. Ooh, I can't. Ooh, I can't live. Ooh, I can't breathe over there. I can breathe over here, but not there. Right. I don't. 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 Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, what the fuck wrong with Go ahead, douchebag. <laughs> Let's get into the million dollars worth of game. This Four million centers. dollars worth of game is sponsored by, have you had any good hair lately? Have you? I haven't, but me and Gil is ready to turn it up. We already made it. We just got to find the right person. If you out there and you do the caps for men that don't have any hair no more and you can make us have waves, please DM us. Please reach out to us. We're stepping it up because we're, you're going to see us on million dollar game soon and we're going to have waves. We're going to be back. We're gonna. I'm dying to have my stuff spinning. I'm Ryan Spinners. I'm Ryan Spinners. <laughs> we don't stop. I'm Ryan Spinners. I'm Ryan Spinners. Now you know I'm in order spinner. to get that joint, you got to grow your sides out at first. So you got to get care. the birds. I don't nest. care. I don't care about none of that. I'm gonna have me and Gil. We already made this screen. We're not backing out. We're gonna have waves. If you're out there and you do the waves for people that got this ball, and you can bring them back, you can bring them back to life, back, back to, to reality. reality. <laughs> <laughs> All that. That's so, that old school shit. So, if you could do that, please contact us. Hit either one of us in the DM. Million dollars worth of game, uh, uh, Instagram DM, and tell us about your services. Please send us a video. We just wanted one more day. Listen, we want one more day. We want to bring back. We want to bring back that time when we was legendary, when we had waves and people didn't judge us for being convertibles and not hard top cars. So we're going to bring that back. But this right here, Million Dollars Worth of Game, <laughs> is sponsored by Have You Had Any Good Hair Lately? Everything, DeatonGlam.com. <laughs>
That's what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. So this girl in my DM, she said, Gilly, I need some game from you. My boyfriend's baby mamas still want to have sex with him. And sometimes they send wow. unsolicited pictures, which I don't care. But my boyfriend saves the pics in a hidden album. I told him it was inappropriate, but he says it doesn't matter. <laughs> should I leave it alone and let him continue to save these pictures of other women? What should I do? Well, he said baby mamas, like all of them sending pictures. Mm. And he had to hit now. How did she find the hit now? What, he got the regular no, know how to uh, calculator get your joint? Let me tell you something. You know how to get in your phone, man. Uh, uh, if you live with a woman, you think she ain't got your passport. All women is CIA. Listen, all women work for the CIA. Absolutely. They 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 work for technology. You understand they got a they got a master's in technology and cell phone technology. I'm talking about any type of cell phone, <laughs> they can be hired at any time on the spot and go like the number three person in the whole company. Apple, <laughs> Samsung, Blackberry. <laughs> they is specialists in getting in your phone. Like, you'll do something, right? And they'll go, listen, you don't even know. It. You'll go to the bathroom, right? All you would do is go to the, go to the, go take a piss, wash your hands, and come back in. Oh. Oh, so you, uh, you called, you called so and so yesterday. What is you talking about? <laughs> Who? You know you was outside of the house. You was in the market when you made the call to whoever you made it to. Oh, you didn't tell me that, huh? Oh, you booked the flight? A flight? What you just, how I go from talking to so and so to booking a flight? No, I got to do business there. You didn't tell me about that. Yeah, they all women are all I, women work for the. And so, FBI. so you're like, but baby, how, like, what is you talking about? How you know? Oh, I got an email to my phone. You don't know she'd have been in your phone, rerouted the emails, got emails being rerouted. <laughs> she shadow emailing you, so all your emails when they come, they getting shadowed. So everything that come to your email, bing popping right. She got alerts. You're like, hi, she's a phone specialist, and then she play dumb. When your phone get broke, she play dumb like she's not a phone technician. Oh, we just gonna go to the Apple Store. It's okay. Why you, we could have saved money? Hey, like, come on. Hey, so let me get this woman some game, man. So let me tell you something. He's getting pictures in his from his baby moms that he's saving in a hidden app. Baby moms. And you've noticed it. And you want to know, is it cool? Should you still let him get pictures? You should never let a motherfucker do something in your relationship that you're not cool with. And what's good for the goose has to be good for the gander. So if I was you, what I would do is... What's a gander? I know what a goose is like, but what is a gander like? I, I never knew what a gander was. <laughs> what type know, of animal is that, Dad? I, just, I mean, I, don't I fucking know. I, I just dick. know that was a hell of a saying. So, oh. so if I was you, what I'd do is I say fuck it. I go, I go online, I screenshot something that he don't want to see. Okay, bang. A million dictures. Listen, listen, hold on, hold on, listen, right? She gonna go to Dev old MySpace page, <laughs> right? Dev Wade MySpace. <laughs> Early 2000s. It'd just be a dick next to a Comcast <laughs> remote. <laughs> right. right. Then I would Flash be using. Jordan. <laughs> can I get a woman some game, yo? Go ahead, man. Then I would be. I would. I would make sure I got my phone out right around them if I was you, right? Hey, slammers. Right. Listen. <laughs> and then I get up to go get something and put it, just drop it on the table right in front of me, then walk away, let him glance over. Soon as he see. look at it. Soon as he look at the screen, he had a commercial. Slam Fest 2000. <laughs> We're coming to you with all the slammer. This is a rock show. All the rock cock stars. The biggest cock stars out here. He's going to be like, ah. Right. Ah. So, so then when he see it, and he, he loses like, his mind. Baby what the leg. Fuck is this? Oh, baby leg. <laughs> he, he, he loses his mind. What the fuck is this? That's when you give it to him. That's when you say, wait, 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 wait hold up. Calm down, do player. We don't do that. You, you Matter of fact, that's just in my phone regular, nigga. You the one putting it in hidden apps. <laughs> You told me it was no big deal. Don't worry about it. So if you can get pussy shots, why can't I get slamming shots? What's good for you got to be good for me. This my old boyfriend. Whole time you done Google some shit, <laughs> but the whole you time you just playing with his mind. Yeah. Sometimes you got to put things into perspective yeah, and let care. niggas see it from the other, other side cool. of the camera yeah. so they can understand what how shit really feel. <laughs> nah, see, that makes see, sense. see when a motherfucker don't know what's the view on the other side of the camera. And he just see the finished picture. That's all he know. Right. Sometimes you got to wake a motherfucker up. And that <laughs> go for men too. Sometimes you got to show a woman the view from the other side of it's, the motherfucker. It's crazy, camera. man. God took my stash from me, man. Like, it was like four years ago, iPhone did like an update, dog. And I had like the secret joint. Bro, 
I could have cried, my nigga. <laughs> I felt like my whole legacy was ripped from me. Like I had So to you cr- just had a bunch of slammer you slammer. No, no, no. I had like all my adventures, nigga, in like one of them secret folders <laughs> and my whole shit deleted. I was going to everybody. Tracks, can you figure out how to work this? Every nigga I knew didn't know how to use a computer. Ah. Nigga, can you find my joint? Because I feel like it never happened now. Yeah, like, now you can. Like, like years of just unbelievable. Well, let me ask material. you something real important though. Is sh- isn't that nut shit if you show somebody else your sexual adventures? Like, isn't that like like exposing somebody to share the moment with you? That, that's yeah. not for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Is you that def- nut shit? Again? Yeah, yeah. You use it to remind yourself because sometimes no. when you get older, so oh, it's, he, it's cool. Oh, it's, it's cool to just show somebody. Oh yeah, look at this. I mean, if it's not your woman, but why is you showing nah, people then, anyway? Yeah, why is you telling yeah, on but her? Then you put she done this for out you there. putting her out there. Uh, let you let was a nut ass nigga, me, Gil. Okay, let me just tell you something. Yeah, kiss and tell, boy. Hold on, no, no, hold on. Let me hold on. Let me just say something. What did you advertise your performance? No, let me just say something. All niggas done did that before. <laughs> Every nigga. I don't give a fuck what y'all talk about. Both of you <laughs> nut ass niggas done did that before too. <laughs> fuck it, y'all talk about. Y'all can try to laugh it off. Now. Listen, Look, listen, y'all didn't listen. think I was gonna put Hold you niggas on front of you. Every nigga done said, Oh, this that bitch from last <laughs> God damn. But listen, listen. And, and listen, then you listen, only listen, grab and be like, that ass. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. God damn. For the first time. Boy, you for the first time in life. For the first time. For the first time in life. Gil got me. He's not lying on me. Yeah. It, it, it just sound real thorough the way I was checking. Nah, 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 but yo, but like, what type of nut shit is that you doing? Nah, but niggas be hating, man. I had a, a nigga back in the day, yo. Somebody was like, yo, Dev, you got to show him the bitches. And yo, you got to show him. This nigga got to show the nigga. He went back and I told I didn't even really know the boy at all. Next thing you know, John, back, you get a yup, phone call. A John, yeah. You just gonna be showing my Jones yep. around? Yup, he that's knew why you, her. You he knew her and went right to her. Like, oh, see, that's boy. a lame ass yeah, nigga. Word up. Most that's dudes, see, most dudes. See, are lame I'm gonna tell you something. Some niggas want to just see the performance of the bitch. Like, damn, I knew she got. And then some niggas want confirmation. He did fuck you. I seen <laughs> it. I <laughs> wanted you. I took you on a thousand dates. You looked up at the camera <laughs> and you smiled. You fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah. But you talk about depression, man. I felt like I lost it. <laughs> the motherfuckers go crazy. For real. I can't believe you. For real. I was the best. You met my mother. <laughs> you met my Bobby. <laughs> you met Bobby. You met my nanny. <laughs> I can't believe you. I don't introduce you to my daughter. <laughs> I don't introduce anybody Why? to my daughter. Why? Why? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I introduce you to everybody in a family. Oh my god! No, is, niggas. Oh my god! Let's get into the sec the segment of who would you be? Who would you be? <laughs> What's the names for the day? You got them. Why? Oh, who would you be? Takashi Six Nine. Nope. <laughs> Shug Knight. Who else? Or Wallow the Creator. Fuck you mean, Wallow the Creator? What are you trying to say? No, come on, man. No, because I'm saying you, you was in the yard doing your sets, and then you hit the cell looking for some hot butt sets. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on with that, man. Trying to put smut on my name, man. No, come on. Don't be having no Tyler the Creator. I ain't no Tyler the Creator. Uh, I'm just saying that's what a nigga called me from upstate. He lied. He lied. Said, said your cousin in the yard, he's just doing his sets, and then he hit his cell looking for some hold hot butt Hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, man, a minute ago, man. Tyler, the creator, was out of pocket. But you know what? <laughs> shout out. Listen, Funk Master Flex, you didn't seem extremely. Uh, Funk Master Flex, you the OG. I want to give you a shout out, Funk Master Flex. No disrespect. Shout out to Flex. But you didn't seem that offended, man. You <laughs> no, just, no, no, your no, reactions. Funk Flex was just like, like why, why did you choose that? <laughs> your reaction wasn't strong enough. Hey, why did you choose that verse? He was trying to find out if DJ Funk Flex was flexible. <laughs> was that? But see, was that, was that Tyler come out? Was that his come out? That, was that his Diana Ross moment? No. Let me take, okay. coming out. I think, no, no, no. I want no. the world I think, to I know. No. Come and let him show. All I know is, and I don't give a fuck what she is in life. You can be That's gay, you could be a transsexual, you could be, I don't give a fuck. But what if he came on here and but he was I, like, and he said, I, he said. Has he ever put me in some shit like listen, that? Man, he was listen, just listen, like, no. yeah, If you ever said that on this show, if you ever did, did this, as soon as he finished that last word, I'm going to say, me, 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 and we out of here, and we're wrapping it up, and the nurses is going to be wrapping his head up. <laughs> He's getting wrapped up. So not again, on this show. Just like that. Not on this. Because as soon as he say, as, when he finished that joke, uh, hot boy hop, said, hop on there real fast. <laughs> soon as Spill he, splash on hey. Kill's ass. As soon, hey. soon as he said the ass part, all you going to hear me say is, now that's a rap. Me, 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 me. 
And as 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 it be moving, his head is going to be he's going to be in a turban. He don't have he's going to have a turban around his head, a red one, a red one with a little bit of white specks in it because the white going to be gone. Not on this joint. He ain't coming here with that bullshit. Hey, I think he was trying to see if Flex was fishing. He's like, because you see how he looked at Flex, he was like, me and Flex looking for some niggas that had some hot butt sex. <laughs> Flex was like, why me? Why did you say that to but, me? But he was looking at Flex like, did he bite the line? Yeah, did he bite it? Did he get, is the hook in his I, mouth? <laughs> wow, uh, it's the hook in his mouth. It's crazy. He was, look, he was looking at him like, he was looking at him like, Flex, we really don't need no niggas. We can handle this ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Is it lounge room in the back? <laughs> That's crazy. I think he was just trolling. <laughs> I don't know. What? I think that niggas is wild, man. Them dudes, them odd future dudes is just wild. I think he just trolled in it. And we talking about it right now. Weeks later, we talking about it right now because that's what he that's what he do. I don't think he really wanted a buff neck, rough, uh, rough butt sex. I don't think that he wanted that. I don't think he did. So you just think that uh, he just, he's just, he's great at marketing. He's on his Eminem wild shit dial. Eminem says like wild shit. So if we, we, we still on who would you be? So you got to be Takashi 6 9 which is off the fucking... That's no one's picking him, bro. Who you, got, you, you speak for yourself? Then you bro. got hold on. So yeah, no, I'm speak not picking. I'm not picking Takashi. Okay. Then you got Suge. I ain't picking Suge, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not picking Suge. Suge kind of went around bullying people, didn't get knocked out by barbers and shit, and then go to jail. Just I'm, because I'm you going, get knocked out, listen, listen. Just because I'm picking, you get knocked out, don't mean you not. Listen, right. I'm picking. The bull, because I think he, I think he just bullshitting. Okay, so wait, wait. I'm hold, picking Takashi. Okay, hold I'm, on. I mean, I'm wait, picking, wait, wait, uh, hold on. Tyler, hold on. So. Because Suge lost a street fight that take. I mean, no, what Wallo, happened? Wallow, one eye dead eye loose, locked the shit out of Wallow. Nah, nah. Had him with a dead eye for two weeks. Nah, and shit, nah. He was nah. running around like this. His nah. shit was closed. <laughs> but, but I must say this. I must say this. Earl told me something real important. Shout out to my hold sister, on, Earl. Hold on. Was it your right one or your left one? It don't your even right matter. Eye? Somebody shut no, your I'm shit. No, I'm saying, well, dead eye loose, locked the shit out of you. Listen, <laughs> he listen, had listen. run around for two weeks like I will this. say this. Him and Lou was the two niggas in the hood with a dead eye. I will say this. <laughs> Earl said, Shout out Dead Eye Lou, man. Shout out Dead Eye. Shout out Lou, One Eye Lou, man. He's a legend. Listen, I will say this. Earl once told me. Man, 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 Earl once told me, and this is in his sensei verse. Slip that left hook and you ain't fucking do it. No. <laughs> Lou tended your no, shit. No, this is what Earl said. He told me something real deep one day, and it was deep. As we sat on the steps, sometimes I'd come and sit on the steps with him, and, he, and I couldn't talk. Because he'd be meditating. And I go to say something to him, and he'd say, not now. <coughs> I'm not here. You say, I'm not here. But one day he told me something very important. Man, that was that crack. And it was a, <laughs> and it was a, <laughs> oh, fuck. He's sitting in the hood talking about, I'm not here with you. I'm not, I'm not come on, man. Don't I told you about the dumb shit. Feet, I told you about the dumb shit when you don't stop. Don't speak on Earl. All you know, right. You're not qualified. I'm acting my okay, feet. Okay, let me just say something. something. Where we from? A nigga that's sitting on a step in North Philly, and a kid walk up on him and say, Earl, how you doing? And he turned around and said, I'm not here. I said, Sensei Earl, how you Sensei, doing? Okay, I'm not here. That means he's meditating. That's that means what he's me. on that fucking butter no, no, that don't, make no, the no. fiends See, see, you don't understand good, the world we're a part of. Give see? me another. <laughs> he, told me something, he told me something one time that was deep. And through my journey, I, I ran into a lot of people that told me a lot of things. But this one thing that he told me changed my life forever. And I understood life after that. So the thing said that- said nothing on your feet, nothing on your chest. No, the thing that happened, <laughs> the thing that happened with, the thing that happened with Lou- Real Sensei's better It was a part of the journey. So I understood that, but he told me something, and I want and I want to hold this to all the viewers out there, everybody that's listening, and y'all too. I want y'all to learn from this life lesson. He told me, we walked in the park after we did a little. You know I mean, we did a little. After kick. he molested you, stop, <laughs> stop slandering Earl, man. Stop doing Yo. that shit, man. He used to be like, this is the because next, you had somebody. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> Nigga only had on the gi top. He only had the gi top on, like a roll. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. Come on with this bullshit. Hey, hey yeah, yeah while I was saying like this, yeah. I'm gonna today I'm gonna teach you the naked bun cheek grip. <laughs> <laughs> he had a grip of wallow ass wallow. Like Different type wallow of rear naked choke. Wallow like this. That's Stop a naked, disrespecting that's Earl, man. That's the naked bun cheek grip. <laughs> yes, this is naked bun cheek Stop disrespecting Earl, man. <laughs> let me let me show you the let me show you the ball cuff. <laughs> he like standing with you. Tell me right now, so, Gil, Gil. Like, this is the ball cuff? He like, yeah, he grab wallow Cause. balls. Wham, you see this? Cuz, take that back. Take that back. <laughs> right, take that back. I'm going to choke right, you out later, please. All right, all right he ain't molest you. I'm going to take right. that out. I'm going to say this. Molest you. Earl told me one of the greatest things in life, and one of these, and this quote that he did is is, is revered in a, in a martial art world. We've been waiting for this quote. Everybody... A man without a loss isn't a man. 
Man, that was all fucking Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. That said, was not. That was not. That was not. That was all Talladega <laughs> Nights. Get the fuck out of here. Did you? Oh, you want me to tell you the second half of that part? No, no, that, no, 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 no. Did not. Did not say first loser. Did not say. Did not say. Did not tell you. Oh, Talladega Nights. No, no. Did not tell you. Did not tell you this. Did not tell you this. I told you this. I told you this. I told you this. I said this. This quote that early established was revered in the martial arts world, and that's where it was. If you ever heard it, that's where it came from. This nigga so who would you be, man? Y'all niggas ain't finished. Who would you be? I'll be Suge Knight. Uh, he was a legend. So you going? To, so you want to go back to jail? Fella. No, 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 no. I'm not saying I want to go to jail. But you got to do the time. <sighs> you have to be Suge. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying once he got knocked out, it was like he had a lot of like bad things that was just happening to him in a row and a row, and it felt like Let his me tell life. You something. Why stop mm-hmm. bringing up Suge getting knocked out? Hey, any man, nigga you keep highlighting that shit. Any nigga can lose a street fight. I didn't say that. Fights. I said that was we the beginning said, of his bad luck. You just said low. Did I lose ten? We know that. Shit. Maybe okay, that's what started on. your good okay, look. Okay, hold on. You you know who he fucked up though? Who? Listen. Who? Timmy. Chill, yo. <laughs> no, he didn't. Yeah, they went <laughs> to school <laughs> together, right? Listen. You talking about Dumbo Slice? Yeah. Listen, <laughs> no. listen, listen. Dumbo Slice said, "I ain't gonna lie." Death. He said. Death. He said I approached him on some gangster shit. He said he Quit spun death. me around, He's tripped one me. Of my listen. Students. He said he spun me around, tripped me, slammed me on the ground, and put me in this move and said, "I don't want to fight you. Are you done yet? Are you done yet?" <laughs> I was like, ah, <laughs> he was a legend, Dev. Dev, you're my no, prize. No, you, you hey, this my, the thing. This is my top this suit. Thing, as soon said, as he walked, that shit had, I do. Listen, that's stuff I do. He had me like this, though. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> he, he, was like he said, oh, no, what did I don't want to fight you. Are you done yet? No, because everybody dead? told me he was a professional <laughs> boxer and that he was going to be here. they like, yo, he a professional boxer. I'm like, I don't care. But he asked him, this is how you know. He had sensei ways. Are you done yet? <laughs> like, I'm going to let you go. But listen, but you this shit? was Tim telling me the story. Is you done with the dumb shit? Oh, you know, listen, whole time, he on some karate I love shit. It. He like, no, karate. no, no, no. Leave that listen, in the past. Leave that in the past. Tim the world. like, no, fuck that. The nigga choked me out, slammed me on the ground, put me in his move and said, I don't want to fight you. Are you done yet? Are you done yet? He is a true martial artist. <laughs> Are you done yet? If you don't know, if you don't know our homie Tim, aka Dumbo Slice, he's big, he do security, and he's a boxer. And uh for he this security shit. Like he the type of dude, if you have an event, he'll walk up. Oh, you got a security shirt? I'll do the door right now. I'll handle the door. I just need I just need some I just need some beer and a, and a hot meal. I'll do the door. That's what he do. He specializes in that. And being tough with people for no reason. Like you could be just chilling here, walk up to you. You want some action? What's up? Come on, let's fight. Let's box. Hey, Why would I box you? Hey, Dev defused him. Though. Dev defused him. He but fucked him up. Tell me again. I need to hear again exactly what Dev said. Tim said Dev wrestled him down, <laughs> slammed him, put him in his move, and then screamed out in the hallway. They was in school. Dev screamed out in the hallway, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. Are you done yet? Nah, Are was, you done? It wasn't was, in the hallway. We was, was outside. We was outside. Oh, it was outside. Yeah, yeah. It was on the ground. was at school, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was a plea for the police, though, but he hollered. I don't want to fight you. Yo, Dev called the cops. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. I don't want to fight you. Are you done? Nah, I ain't want to hurt him. <laughs> oh, so you said so you, you could have fucked him up bad. Now. I mean, he was he was no, the ability. Like, there was nothing he could do. Dev, Dev told him, "Are you done yet?" I used to That's tell people. Real I used to tell people that, like, just oh, tell me God. when you finish. I can't take what the fuck. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, tell me when you Yo, finish. He's a true martial artist, man. <laughs> Shout out to the martial arts, and martial artists out there, the dojos all around the world, man. We're we're coming back strong, man. <laughs> so, yeah, man hey, you <laughs> get shot left and right. <laughs> Yo, you sign up. Don't do that. Don't do that Yo. shit. Yo, you check. You hear anything about Ninja Rob lately? Nah, man. I guess he doing his business. So let me ask you a question. Him. So, so, so I'm picking Suge. I have a just. I would just have to go out with. I'm Suge. picking Suge too. No, you said you was Wild the Creator. No, I did not. I ain't never say nah, no shit like that. Both of y'all saying y'all going to prison. No, I'm not going to prison. Hey, you I'm gonna keep to. it all the way real. No, before, I'm just saying. Before, I'm picking Suge I'm in the fantasy world. I'm keeping it all the way real. Before I, before I, I'm going to prison. Before I get hot butt sex. No, but I don't think you really got. Let me tell you something. He rapped Unless we talk about Tootie's ass. I, I'm going to prison. <laughs> How you going to prison? He he solicited the police sometime. He will a- activate the police in the situation. Let me tell you something. This dude would, this dude would listen. This is what he do. Before he, I one crank day, a nigga in his ass or he <laughs> crank oh, my ass, I'm him. going to prison. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, uh, I'm talking about 6 9 ain't situation. Ain't about. At the end of the day. Hold on, would that make you call the police? You're about to get ass raped and there's a phone, phone right there. You you, you, cuff, <laughs> you cuffed up. You cuff, listen, yeah. you, cuff, you cuffed up. Dev, what is you but, talking no, about? You cuffed up. No, you no, mean about to no, get somebody, ass raped? Somebody, somebody. Who is no, ass just, raped listen, me? I'm just trying to find out, is there a way Gil's calling the cops? If you No, 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 no. He had, listen, I told you before, he had done that. He had acted. Well, he had. No, he tried to get you to call the cops. Yeah, he tried to get me to call the cops. You physically call the cops to not get raped. Gil, let me just say this. We got to figure out where this. Gil draws the let line. Let me just say this. Hold on, dog. Let me, let me just, no, fuck that, Wallow. Hold on. <laughs> 
Hold on, Dad. <laughs> Who's going to put his cakes on the lizard? Like, right. no, I'm just saying. No, no, he wait, was, wait, he could be wait, 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 Dev. Hold on, Dev. What type of nigga you think I am out here? If you was in jail and you had the big boy, that was his trouble. I don't give a fuck if I was in jail how big a nigga Listen, is. Listen, let me explain something to you. My ass ain't never getting took. Your cakes is you on a Lizzie. My cakes are never be on the line. Listen, if your cakes is on a Lizzie. <clears throat> the fuck is you talking about? It's a whole about? different thing. My cakes are never be on the line. Oh, the Lizzie. His cakes on the Lizzie. His cakes was on the line. No, they wasn't. No, they wasn't. Yeah, your cakes was on the line. They wasn't. You called home and said your cakes was on the Lizzie. No, they wasn't. That's between me and Lo. My cakes would have never been on the Lizzie. They, they see low in there. The, the, first of all, the the the, the, the gay boy walked up on him talking about. Mm. No, he ain't say that shit. He, he had a whole gay crew. Said, Listen, he, I'm not. I'm not. Hey, we just gonna remove he, from this whole he, situation. He walked up on him, said, mm, "I like milk duds. They, they on say, the commissary. They Listen, do they got milk duds on commissary? Listen, this motherfucker. <laughs> Listen, him right here. <laughs> Dev, ask him the question. You told him, if it, would he call the police if his cakes was on line? That's what My cakes wouldn't be on the line. So. Well, you say you're going to be Suge Knight in jail. <laughs> Should cakes ain't on the fucking line. I ain't line. saying should cakes on the line, but you might. If you get in this situation. Fuck is you talking about? I'm going to leave that alone. So I, I, I'm being Suge Knight. You taking Wallow the Creek. I mean. I'm, I'm taking. Yeah. He called him. <laughs> Stop Tyler. calling that man. Stop calling taking, him that, man. I'm taking Tyler. Well, we know what he wants. <laughs> nah. He wants some hot buns. I don't, I don't, no, I don't believe Tyler's doing that. <laughs> he want his buns big. <laughs> he want, nah. He, he wants. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Listen. Remix the song. Come on and bake. Come on and bake. Bake my buns up and bake. The buns. <laughs> That's what you want the buns. Nah. Hey, you out of pocket. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Hey, listen, for, come on, come on out the closet today. Nah, come, come on, on Dad. Listen, man, come, come on, on out. Open the door. Hey, we I, don't judge. Listen, him. I don't believe that he wants butt sex. You might get that. You, hey, listen. You hey, come he, out. he believe that he's his big brainiac master marketer. He is troller. Fake troller no, slash master marketing. that's not master marketing. Yeah, saying you he went, want, he went at a man and told a man, for "Let's some... go get some. Let's go get. Let's go. Let's go get nasty." Right. That's not master marketing to me. That's nasty. It worked. That's nasty marketing. All right. Well, listen. You'll be shook. I'll be shook. And he's that's it. he's style of creator. He right, wants cool. hot butt sex. That's cool. Listen, anybody want to give Dev some hot yeah, butt no, sex? No, listen, man. Hold on, no, guess no. what they're going to end up? They're going to end up like Timmy. Yeah, you know what he said? Hey, <laughs> are you dead yet? <laughs> what he say? No, that's not. That's not they going to have Dev. Uh, nah, nah. Eli. You ready? Because <laughs> you done yet. It's you done yet. <laughs> <laughs> it don't have to be this way. <laughs> hey, 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 it don't have know. to be this yeah. way. It's crazy. That nigga's crazy, man. Hey, listen, man. Let's get into it. Oh, my God. Stories from a cell. Stories from the cell. Well, listen, I, uh, listen. For everybody that don't know, stories from the cell is just a part of my journey. When I was in prison, after twenty years in prison, all the different stories, I you know, things I didn't encounter. It's just this. The days. Well, hold on, but before you get into stories from a cell, let's let's for all y'all that this, this might be your first episode. You know, Wallow's done stories from a cell every episode where, you know, somebody put some oodles and noodles on his bed. You know, he was wrestling. Uh, oh, oh, oh. The, why are you trying to make all this stuff spicy? What is you talking about? So, I'm just, could you just you just started that real crazy? You trying to slam my name after he just said what he said? Come on, man, don't be trying. Right. To, I was just don't trying, try. Could you lead into something I that's was wrong? Just you you, to get him up you to lead speed. No, no, you don't have to get him up to speed. For those who don't know, I do stories from the cell, and I talk about my 20 years in prison. I did 20 years in prison. For those, this might be your first time. I went to prison when I was 17 for two armed robbery, two firearm cases, and I came out when I was 37. Now, listen, let me explain something to you. Today's on this episode of Stories from the Cell, we talk about medication. Now. A lot of people don't understand this. People go to prison, and when they go to prison, a lot of people before they was in prison, they used to get high. They used to escape the reality of life, and the way that they escaped the reality of life was through getting high. So now they come to prison, and they got to substitute them drugs. And a lot of people substitute them drugs with medication. A lot of y'all got family members and all that stuff that come back from prison, and you're trying to wonder, why is they different? They just seem different. They seem far away. They seem distant. A lot of people, when they go to prison, it's sad to say, they go to prison, they go to the psych, psychiatrist and be like, oh, yeah, excuse me, uh, yeah, I can't sleep. I'm going through it. I see demons at night. And they get them psychotropic medication. And a lot of people who escape reality through this medication, they, it, it, give them a, it give them whatever they give them and make them just be in a different place. And through the whole time they're doing in prison, they're on medication that they're not supposed to be on. This is for people that really got issues, mental issues and things that's going on that really need this. So you got normal people that just want to substitute a high that they no longer, you know, have access to with these. So when you seeing people come home from prison and you trying to act like, why they act like that? Why is they distance? Why are they just spaced out? Why are they different? They was taking psych medication. And that's like a major thing in prison. You will see people that just, like I told you before, you will see people in prison that you knew in the streets that don't know you no more. 
Hey, what's up? What's the name? And they just give you that days and they hours like. And you be like, what happened? In prison, there's a lot of zombies. And so what it do is it spill off to the street because the dude who wound up five years, he took medication this whole time. If you go to a medication line, when they call it med line, and you see, you'll see a bunch of people like, damn, you'll see all these dudes on medication. And then some people buy people medication from them. And it's things that play with your mind. And so the whole time, you done went from having addiction to drugs, and now you got addiction to psych medication, but that psych medication is throwing you off, and you're not coming back. So now... When a person did their five years, you look, you thinking they doing their time, you're like, yeah, my cousin jail, he be home. You know what I mean? You wonder why he don't call us time. he just be spaced out, zoned out. Your cousin is up there asleep all the time because the medication's messing him up or he just spaced out. And then when they come home, now they got to deal with the reality of your life of they didn't get no job training in there. They didn't get no real life skills. They detached from the reality of life and they're stuck in a time that don't exist no more. You'll see a lot of people come home from prison and you saying, damn, they still talking about back in the day. Yo, dog, that was 15 years ago. They just stuck in a moment that don't exist because that was their glory years. But at the same time, they didn't learn nothing in prison. And a lot of times dudes in prison, not only do it be a medication, dudes be stuck on the street medication. And street medication be still talking about some shit that don't exist no more. And that's a medication too. It drive you crazy. You in a yard every day trying to keep up on everything that's going on out here, everything. But at the same time, you keeping up with everything that's going on in the streets. Your daughter's getting older. Your son's getting older. Real life is happening. Technology is advancing. So now when you come home, you don't know shit. Like, you don't know nothing. Dudes come home, they don't know shit. And it's not because it ain't access to information in prison, because people used to send me all type of books from Amazon, all type of, I used to read anything, just be in touch. And when I call somebody from, from jail, I'm calling, actually, I call Gil, asking about some real shit, like some technology. Yeah, what's the, oh no, the internet, YouTube, you could do this, people making money. I'm like, what? All right, bet, doing more research, asking a young boy that just came to jail. So be mindful. A lot of people coming out of prison, man, they don't have the skills sometimes because they don't even be here sometimes. Because of the medication and even that, even that, that mental medication that they taking, that psychotropic medication or that street medication. And the street medication where you be doing your whole time and the only thing they want to get fed is information about the street culture. You know what I mean? They worry, a lot of dudes worry more about what's going on in the street, who fucking who, who driving what. Oh, yeah, he got that car. He doing this. No, nah, dog. You need to worry about how you going to get out there, create, create some, how you going to get some type of job, a job for yourself create a career or whatever, how you going to pay some bills and how you going to build a relationship with your kids and, and, and reconnect with the people that, you know, really, you, that really fuck with you. But no, dudes come right out. Yeah, what's going on out here? Fuck you mean what's going on out here? Some shit that you don't know about because you disconnected and you don't even know the rule. You don't even know what's going on in the streets no more. So it's just like, we really got to be on point when our people come home from jail and if you got somebody in prison, reach out to them, connect with them, see what's going on, check their mind out, and see how you can get them some information that's going to be beneficial to them when they walk out of prison. Stories from the cell. Mm. That, was, that was very informative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because a lot of people don't know. Dudes, dudes is coming home crazy, and we trying to figure out why is he crazy? Why is he miserable? Why is he mad? I remember back why in the day, is he angry? I remember back in the day when I, he was like two years into his bid, three years into his bid, I had to cuss him out one time. Niggas called me, talking about he was on them Serapins. What's them joints called? He lied. He lied. <laughs> I never took. I never took no medication in jail. Like in jail, I never took. In, in, in jail, they listen. called me, talking about wallow up here on them Serapins. Listen, or, in, in they jail, never hit you with the Chi Kwan. No, listen, the only no, they ain't never hit me with Chi Kwan. The only thing, and one thing about jail too, they medication. I mean, they whole medical shit is horrible. You'll be in the yard, right? You'll be running to something. You'll sprain your ankle. Or you'll break your leg. You'll go to the med. Oh yeah, give him some ibuprofen. They not giving you shit. <laughs> oh, he broke his leg? Oh, yeah, give him some ibuprofen. Oh, he cut himself? Give him some ibuprofen. What, his arm fell off? Give him some ibuprofen. <laughs> they don't care about them Jones in there, man. You go to the dentist, all they want to do is pull your sheet out. Oh, you, is you having any, any pain in your mouth right here? Is it pain right there? No, it's no pain there. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to uh, remove that teeth from you. For what? <laughs> <laughs> because I think they get a certain money when they uh -huh. make the type of the, uh, surgery, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just always some bullshit. <laughs> like you really got to keep yourself healthy What you eat and how you drink Like you got to keep yourself healthy in the joint And you can fuck around They'll kill you in that joint mm. Like you'll be, you be done You know it, it's just crazy Hey listen This is Million Dollars Worth of Game We appreciate you guys tuning in every week Every week Every single week Making us the number one music podcast in the country Every week Every week For running our numbers up on YouTube Every week Every week For supporting all our live shows Every time we do it, it's all love, man. This is me and Oz River Game. I go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow267. And it's just like that. Right!